Yo, what's going on, buddy? Crypto Kid here, coming at again with another video, guys. Before this video starts, go ahead, do me a favor. In the description below is a link to my new channel, Crypto Kid DMA. Go ahead, hit subscribe, hit those post notifications. So this is basically going to be the research behind my predictions on my main channel for the most part. A lot of daily market analysis of the coins on Coinbase because personally, I mainly use Coinbase Pro to trade. So of course, I'm going to talk about coins I'm interested in. I'm sure you guys will find a lot of videos that will be useful for you on that channel. Go ahead, hit subscribe. Now let's get right into the video. Thank you all for doing that real quick. Let's get into the video. So first off, guys, I wanted to basically just put this out here. A lot of stuff is going to happen um, within the next year. A lot of it is like we don't even know about yet. There's a lot that we could not possibly know about yet. Um, a lot of it's going to have to do with the elections, like I told you guys about. Um, a lot of what's going to happen, crypto is going to be we're going to be tied to the stock market. So let's just say. The stock market were to crash or something of that nature um, a lot of these predictions wouldn't really hold as much value obviously um, because that's just kind of an unforeseen thing but in the scenario that the stock market does just kind of stay afloat stays consistent um, either like not too bad not too good whatever um, or even if it is really good these predictions will reign true but if something crazy does happen just kind of throw these out the window or just kind of stay up to date on my channel and I'll let you know and update you if I'm still kind of what my opinions are on these coins. But with that being said, always do your own research, guys. Don't invest based off anything I say or do. I'm merely just someone to kind of bounce ideas off of um, and hopefully you can learn a thing or two from these videos. So basically going to be talking about three coins that I am looking to invest in for 2020. I think these would be the best performing coins uh, or sorry, for 2021. I think these would be the top three best performing coins, if not somewhere in at least the top 10, 15, 20 coins for 2021. So let's get right into the video. So the first one is not exactly one coin in particular. However, if I was going to pick one, it's Ethereum. This is basically just you're looking for oscillators to Bitcoin. I'm not going to put out Bitcoin as my coins just because the market cap is as high as it is. There's not a whole lot of room for growth. Um, if we did see something crazy like another $215 billion was added to the market cap of Bitcoin, it still wouldn't be a whole lot. It would just be like a 100% gain, um, which is obviously crazy good. I'm not trying to downplay 100% gain, but if you go ahead and target an oscillator like Ethereum, if Ethereum were to add, let's say like $100 billion, um, to its market cap, obviously that'd be a much bigger gain. So target the oscillators like Ethereum, maybe even Litecoin or Bitcoin Cash, and then just kind of hold on to those. Um, so anyways, that's just kind of my first general coin is just oscillators in general. Um, so second one is going to be fan favorite, one of my favorites, a really good hedge against Ethereum, which is going to be Tezos XTZ. Tezos has kind of underperformed this year i'd say in my opinion um we did end up going up to 449 at the peak of this year um it's ever since then we've just kind of been crashing down so at this point you can kind of buy it in at a discount um and then obviously the great thing about tezos is that you can just kind of stake your coins um so i guess the idea behind this pick for me is that while tezos is making its move going up 50 80 100 200 percent you're also going to be earning passive income from tezos and then what happens is you start to get some compound interest so let's say you put in a hundred dollars you're making five percent um on the year well it's not like you get paid out at the end of the year you get paid out if you're using coinbase or one of these other other exchanges you can paid out every three to six days i'm not sure how it works if you're personally staking um right now i don't actually hold any tezos um but if you are looking to personally stake i think you need like eight thousand tezos or something uh, absurd like that so obviously it's going to take a lot but if you are going to stake on an exchange obviously know the risks of it um but disregarding that you're going to be earning basically every three to six days, you're going to be paid out part of that yearly 5%. And then what happens is that gets reinvested into the coin and then you start to get some compound interest there. So while you're earning um, your Tezos every three days, you're basically going to be getting a raise of how much you're you're earning. So it's just, I mean, that snowball effect, that compound interest for me, um, I just think that's a, one of the best ways to get really rich from investing. Um, all you got to do is be patient and just kind of let the investment sit and work for you. So while Tezos goes up, the amount of Tezos you own and the amount of Tezos you're earning would also follow that. Um, and all around, it would just be a really, really great investment for 2021, in my opinion, for those reasons, especially when you consider um, the technology behind Tezos and the fact that it has staying power in the industry and the fact that it is self-adapting um, and can constantly change uh, kind of with technology. So definitely want to check out Tezos for 2021. Um, and the final coin 
I mean, there's there's obviously there's so many coins I can mention here. Just some honorable mentions real quick. Stellar Lumens, um, XLM, Cosmos, Adam, going along with Tezos, another staking coin. Um, Zcash, I think, is going to have a really good year with us kind of shifting towards privacy. Uh, Basic Attention Token, I think, is going to have a phenomenal year. Um, I'll probably make a video on that soon. Uniswap, obviously, is a really good coin. Compound, a little bit underloved. And Kyber Network, I think, is probably going to go up at least 100% next year. Um, and then kind of Band Protocol, Orchid, Balancer, Numerare. These are all low market cap coins that could potentially pop at some point. Um, by the end of 2021 so definitely keep those in mind but the coin we're going to be focusing on right now is going to be yearn finance so obviously very very risky play um in my opinion this is one that you definitely don't want to put a whole lot of your portfolio in um i get a little risky with my portfolio just because i'm young and i can afford to do so but if you guys are wagering quite a bit of money, and it really is kind of a wager, um, I wouldn't put in more than 5 10% of your portfolio unless you really, really believe in it. But obviously with this one, do your own research. As we can see on the month, it's already down 61%. Um, but this is one that just, in terms of swing trading and getting in and getting out, you can make a whole lot of money with. You can also lose a whole lot of money. But with my, my kind of investment thesis with this is that it's a very, very new coin. It's incredibly volatile. The market cap is absurdly high, yet it keeps moving like crazy. Um, and this is one that at some point in 2021, if the technology stays up to date um, and the team keeps making good improvements with Yearn and it just kind of stays afloat at the top of its industry, it is going to pump like crazy. You, we could potentially be seeing 100,000, basically a six-digit YFI coin in 2021 and that's kind of what i'm holding on for um as we can see we literally went from let's see fifteen thousand dollars on august 27th and then august 31st we're at thirty five thousand dollars so these incredible moves in price are always is this is a coin you want to go ahead latch on to um right now i'd say it's a pretty decent time to buy in you're probably going to be able to buy in lower um later on in this year but this is one that could pump crazy. It has pumped crazy in the past, and it is still in its infancy. Um, so you're going to want to latch, latch onto this, get a little bit of money in there, um, and then obviously do your own research before you do so. But just kind of hold on for 2021. It's going to be a wild ride, but I think you're going to be able to make a lot of money if you stay patient and if you get out at the right time. So anyways, guys, that is my third and final pick for 2021. We got through in a little DeFi there at the end. Um, but let me know in the comments below. What are your top three picks for 2021? Which coins do you think are going to perform best? Do you agree with my picks? Once again, running over, it's Ethereum, Tezos, and Yearn Finance. It's all the way down here at 36. Um, so I guess we can check back on this video in a year um, and see how I did. But I'm quite confident in, this investment, in these investments. I think at least one or two of them is a lock to go crazy in 2021. Um, apart from if, like I said earlier, if the stock market were to crash or something crazy. But if you guys stuck around to the end of the video, thank you very much. Make sure to like and subscribe. I appreciate all of you. Go ahead, check out that CryptoKid DMA channel. Link in the description that I talked about. We should be coming out with a new video tomorrow. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Love you all. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.